Hey there folks, I'm Zerfell, and welcome to another C64 Sunday. Today we're going to be playing Impossible Mission. This is game number 26 on the C64, or 1164 Top 100, as of August 31st, 2014. Um, it had a score of 8.66 with 370 votes, and that has gone up to 8.67 with 384 votes. So it's on the upswing, but not by very much. It stayed pretty steady. And this is a game by Epix that came out in 1984. The creator and programmer were, was Dennis Caswell, as you can see on the screen. And the speech synthesis is by Electronic Speech Systems, um, which we're going to hear a lot of this speech synthesis. There's no music in this game, and the graphician, graphician? Uh, the graphic artist, is missing to the annals of time. Uh, it's not listed anywhere, but it's a platform game, 1984. Really good reviews for the most part. Um, C64 Games gave it a 10 out of 10 in August of 2009. C64 gave it a 8.5 on in December of 20 or 2006. Um, back in August of 2009, uh, Lemon64 gave it an 8.6. I guess we already talked about that one. Uh, so it stayed pretty steady since the early 2000s, I guess, on uh, Lemon64. hasn't changed too much. Cult Boy, 7.88. Game Base 64 gives it a 10 and calls it a classic. And Zap64, the amazing you know and love, uh, in the 87 uh, issue 5, gave it a 95%. Now let's look at the situation here. For three days, the strategic central computers of the great powers have acted up. An unknown person manipulates their programs. At the end of these programs are the command uh, codes for the intercontinental rocket. The countdown is on. Only six hours keep humanity from the anatomic inferno. An unknown person? No. Only Professor Elvin, the insane computer expert, could crack the top secret code. Elvin, who entrenches himself in his intangible subterraneous fortress, guarded by 90 murderous robots that until now have hunted down every intruder. No one who has ever set foot on the lift to Elvin's cave labyrinth has ever returned alive. The last hope is Special Agent 4125, the most cunning, toughest, and most indiscriminate man that the Secret Service can offer. Only the ice-cold reckoning and superior physical condition give this unnamed hero a tiny chance to avert the disaster in the last minute. So, this game, we have to go through his vault, find the, uh, I guess, cut up punch cards that are going to tell us what the password is to his computer, go insert it into his computer, and stop the uh, launch. There's 36 pieces in all to retrieve, and um, I've never beaten this game. I don't think we're going to beat it this time. I'm pretty sure my brother uh, has beaten the game. But and the ending is pretty ridiculous. But we'll see how far we can get. We have six hours in total. Um, instead of lives in this game, you have six hours in total. And what ends up happening is that every time you die, you end up um, with a time deduction. So depending on how many times you die, you may or may not uh, lose the game. So, and if, if you die zero times and it takes you six hours, you're going to lose the game. So let's go ahead and get started on this mission. Um, that's about all we need to know about it, I think. Oh, that's the space bar. High score, yes, high score. And let's load the high score. This is one with a trainer by Remember. Now that is a sound that brings back memories from my childhood because we played a ton of this game. As well as this uh, little tambourine footsteps and the, the hi-hat <laughs> when you jump. So there's going to be these robots. They all follow different patterns. Some of them go towards you quickly and then away. Some will zap if they get too close to you. Some will just follow you around. But we got to do things like search the shower. We found a puzzle piece in the shower, actually. So there you go. This one comes towards us faster when it's looking at us, so we're going to have to search for a bit. And then, whoop! I tail it out of the way. You jump a little faster than you run, I believe. So we're going to be using that to our advantage. Nothing there. Oh, there's a wastebasket too, though. And you never know where these cut-up pieces are going to be. 
Oh, shoot. That's the one problem with the wastebasket. It's kind of hard to line up here. Let's search the toilet first. Nothing there. I don't know how the wastebasket was hurt. Well, I guess... I guess I do know how the wastebasket was harder to search than the toilet. That actually makes a lot of sense. And actually, we're going to go this way because... Uh, that robot with his little lasers, I'm likely to get myself killed because I'm not that great. These little computers here, if you have the items, you can reset the platforms in the room. And you can temporarily disable the robots. Which is almost required in some rooms to be able to uh, get the items. So we're going to do our best to explore all of one lift first before moving on to the next one. In rooms like this, you'll see that there's... Um, sort of two exits. So a slow moving robot is going to keep attacking us. Oh man, desks take forever. Alright, nothing there. Let's let him get all the way over here so we can get a good search on. Alright, there's nothing there. So we can continue out of this room. Like I said, I want to sit, hit all of the one lift first because if you're lucky, they won't all be in. None of them will be impossible rooms yet. Uh, I don't know how this guy reacts. Sometimes they they zap when they see you, and sometimes they don't. And there's no way of telling because all the robots look the same. Nothing there. Nothing up my sleeve. Uh, I guess this might be the best way to go. No. I misjudged the timing. I thought he was already all the way to the end. Alright, let's uh Let's actually do this the opposite way this time. It's weird how that robot doesn't go all the way in. See, they always discharge once right at the very end of their thing, those little guys. Okay, I got a robot sleepy times. Kinda need to oh, I guess I just need to jump him. That wasn't so hard. Nothing there, though. Alright, let's work our way back up. It's weird, too, because the hitboxes are actually pretty good for when you're jumping, but uh, you'll touch them with your foot sometimes and just be pretty pissed off. Ah, uh, see, this is an interesting one. It's trying to make you think, oh, I'll just go up first right away, but no, you have to go this way. Ah, uh, jeez, I'm one of these guys that freaking take forever. Ah. Oh. Oh, no, do you know what? There are There's one at every freaking spot. This won't be so hard after all. Except for this crap. Okay. So what about if we... Yeah, there we go. Sometimes when they're turning around, it's kind of the best place to do the jump. No! See, so I'm already losing time here. And if I go into the hallway and look at the machine, we've already used up 43 minutes from all the times we've died. All right, so I know he's going to move one more at the end here. Zap, move, zap. All right. So we can search through this kitchen cabinet. Oh, shoot. Almost got dead there. Search through this fridge. All right, we did find another puzzle piece. We found a reset lifts. All right, and this shouldn't be as bad now. Perhaps this is the way we should have gone up as well. What?! Oh my gosh, I ran against the wall, so it zapped me by the foot. That was pretty lame. But like I said, you're going to get hit by the foot every once in a while. Uh, but sometimes it's sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. Alright, he doesn't have any zaps. See that one at the bottom, how he's peeking back behind him? Those are the type that will turn around when they see you. Oh no! He just zaps when he sees you, and then turns around. Interesting. So we kind of want to let him... Come toward you. Do you know what? Why don't we... Oh, you son of a bitch. I didn't think he was going to turn around. I thought he was going to keep walking that way. Okay, I'm hoping he maybe gets far enough away. He can turn around every time. Yep. Sometimes you can get just on the edge of these things and they'll let you uh, 
search in a way that you won't get zapped, but I don't think this time we're gonna be able to pull that off. Oh! Jeez. I'm trying to get fancy here, and I'm not a fancy man. Yeah, yeah. Zap your zaps. Luckily, our search was kept. Nothing there. Oh, not worth it at all. Okay. I'm gonna let this guy turn around. Get up here. Search, search, search. No! Uh, I probably would have survived that too if I had just been a little more patient. Oh, come on! Alright, so we're wasting all sorts of time in this room. Turn around. I do kind of wish the robots could go on the lifts. Alright, go up. If we jump as he's turning around. Oh, this is one of these guys, eh? Jeez. No, I don't peek behind you. Okay, so he's a peeker. Oh, come on! Alright. We'll worry about that stereo system later. Hmm. These robots are mad. Nothing there. Alright, so these guys are actually pretty predictable, so I'm not going to have too hard of a time. Yeah, which is good, because there was actually a thing there. And this time we're going to have to do some crafty jumping. Search this couch. Crafty jump back. Actually, it's not, it's not very crafty at all. And it was all worth it. Now, can I make that jump? That's the real question. No, I can't. But what I can do... Is search this real quick. See, and then what we're going to do... It's going to be a little bit awkward, actually. Maybe I'll just do it like this. Nope! That was bad plans. Bad plans. We're going to have to jump over him. Now, see, we could just continue on that way, but I was stupid and came this way because I'm pretty sure the lifts won't reset unless we die, so... Mm, wasn't the best plan, but we don't need to use that room to get across. So there wasn't much we missed in this first bit. I'm going to stand right at the edge there. All right, let's search the easy ones first. See, this actually lets us switch it around so we can do this now. Whoops! Ugh. Just get ourselves killed, you know? It's a fun way of doing things. Alright, we're gonna come up, search. Nope. Alright, it was worth it in the end. Lift reset. Nothing here, okay. Barely made it out of there alive. All right, so we've used up a bunch of time, but the point is we got all these, all these uh, pieces so far. So, I don't know, like this one. And this one will not go together at all. Keep forgetting there's no cancel button, okay. But, Maybe this one? No, that's not going to go with anybody. Hmm. I don't know that I really... Well, I just want to put a few out here. See if we start having stuff that maybe seems like it makes sense. Like this. Hmm. Like does, does that fit there? Maybe, actually? They do have to be the same color to kind of go together. 
Maybe we'll leave, leave those together for now, even though... Do you know what? Actually... Take that, make it this color. Images can't overlap, but I'm pretty sure that I actually should take this one, delete it. I don't think that's right, but I do think that that one and this one go together. Yeah, see, now we're getting somewhere. I don't think that one's involved in it right now. End of... I think that may be about all we have right now that kind of fits. Hmm. This one and that top one might go together. Actually, we already have that one there. Okay, so. Whoops. I don't wanna get that one out here. I kinda wanna delete this one. So this is the puzzle solving aspect of it. But until you actually get all of the pieces of the puzzle, it uh, gets kinda difficult. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that maybe this one, you flip it this way. and turn it green. Maybe it fits with that one? Maybe. Kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't. For now, that'll be enough. We're not going to try to fax any of these things in yet. It costs you 10 minutes to fax stuff, actually. Alright, I think we can use this one just to get to the next level. We do need to come in there and get that uh, thing eventually. Was there something else we left here? Nope. We did a relatively okay job of clearing out that first zone. Yeah, it's just that one uh, stereo system. I think we should really give it a try. He sees us, it's just when we jump, he doesn't see us for a minute. Okay, get going. Alright, he can't hit us here. So we can let you go all the way to the end. Or just about. No! Alright, we gotta... I have the robot freeze too, actually. That was not good. Come on! Give man a break. I'm wasting hours here. Okay, he's around. I'll bring this one up. Back down. Temporary disable robots. Log off. Search the one close to him first. Then this one. Nothing! Oh, it wasn't worth it at all. I guess knowing that it was there was worth it, but man, now it's already so, so late. Alright, but at least, ooh, there's not normally rooms down this low. Shoot, maybe I missed one on the other side. Alright, what's this guy doing? Is he gonna turn around? Oh no! I was just trying to get a touch closer so I could start searching right away. Oh, I could've jumped him too. Alright. 
He's not so hard as I thought he was. He's not going as... Oh, come on! Man, he's moving fast. Oh, man. What, did we just lose an hour there? Jesus! Come on! The timing was right! He was about to stop zapping. All right. People are going to be pretty frustrated with this. Let's just stand back. Let him do his three. Jeez, should have done that the whole time. A little robo sleepy time powers. Hit that jump right. No, I honestly think we can't search that guy's thing. We really should... Uh, no! Alright, we really should disable the robots and just go into that. But we gotta wait till that robot's moved out of the way. Because there might be something going on there. Nope, I think the safest way is this. Robo sleep, so not a net loss. Not a gain, though. We wasted a lot of time in that room for nothing. Oh, this is one of the rooms I hate, too. Although it depends on what type of robots they are. That one at the top normally is one that can uh, zap as well, but he's just a search and destroy one now. That almost worked, actually. Come back. Luckily, we can take a fall with the best one. What do you mean I can't land on that one? All right. If I recall correctly, drop him from here. All right. And then we can just hop down here. Jump, like, from there. Oh, I almost made the jump. All right, so we only have that one last stupid thing to do. So we'll hop, like, down here. Do this. Whoop. All right, not so bad. Let's get out of here. I found a couple more pieces, actually. So what did we find? They're going to be at the other end of the memory. Triangle with a square. Now, see, here's the thing. Is it... Get rid of that one. I think this one is actually... Because of that square, if I flip it this way, I think perhaps this is actually the one for here. Maybe. I don't know. That's all we found. Nothing too hot yet. Let's go down just in case. A lot of one-way rooms. Okay, so this is like a... Simon Says thing. I did that right and it just... I don't mean there's no reason to do it the second. I actually don't know what that room's for. Hmm. He's selling these things. Let's uh go ahead and hit the pause button and find out. Two rooms you can find in computer terminal, giant screen, and chess pattern board. When operating the computer, it plays a tone sequence, which needs to be replayed in ascending tone pitch. Ah. On success, you'll receive a password for lifts, robots, no puzzle pieces. Uh, the more often you have elicited a password from the computer, the longer the tone sequence gets. Oh, so I must have gotten a password without noticing. Hmm. 
and it's by the tone as opposed to by so if we go back here no nope. All right, so we should have some extra passwords now. Uh, something tells us, some screen tells us what passwords we have. The screen tell us, oh yeah, password. We have two snooze and four lifts, all right. I don't care too much about the lift ones. Most of the time. Zap. Jump. Stupid robot. Oh yeah, tell me you just zap when you see me. Good. Oh, that's an interesting piece. Ooh, and there's two pieces in this room. Oh, and there's not even a thing over there like I thought there was. Alright. Come at me, bro. Huah! Well, I almost made a mistake there, but uh, a little bit of quick jumping got us back on track. Okay, a nice perfect room for once. Let's go ahead and check out what piece we got down here. Okay, I think we have one. No, I thought we had one with a bit of the same sort of circle pattern going. Um, and it's interesting, they sort of end up all over the place. Oh, no, these are the two we got. Okay, so we have the... Sort of curvy style doesn't quite match. Yeah, let's just keep looking. Whoops. Let's just keep looking. This is one of those games I'm definitely not an expert in. Hey, one of the easy rooms. Okay, so we search everything on the same side first. It makes it a little better because this little ball will follow us and it can't stop us. If you ever sort of trick the ball into, oh, there's a piece. Nothing. Uh, into touching a robot, it will die, but there's no robots in this room. Luckily, it's a piece heavy room and you just got to run them all the way to the end here. Then you just got to run all the way here and go, whoop, whoop. And away we go. He's trapped forever below the lift. At least until we enter the room again. So we're not doing too bad. Uh, other than we are already at four hours for our time. <laughs> so we are doing too bad. Uh, the new piece is are interesting. This... Uh, This one kind of piques my interest. Put it there. No. 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 Not really. None of this seems to be saying what I want it to. Okay. Well, away we go again. All right, get out of here. This is one of the easier robots because you can just follow in behind him. But unfortunately, what his thing is, is that to get down any further, we actually don't want to be on this one. I'm going to put this one up. Hop down here. Oh, frickin' crap. All right. This will actually be an easier way of doing it. Although I think I still kind of want this thing up. Oh, and see, now he's starting his patrol. 
All right, all right. Search, 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 search. Boom. Boom. Got a piece. Jump up here. Flippity flip. Bob a trip. That bottom one's annoying because he's kind of doing his little zip zop zoo de bop. No, I thought he was chasing me and he wasn't. All right, we're going to come in from that one on another angle if we can. Because this one should probably let us through too. All right, so one, two on that side. Shoot, go down. Oh my god. And a whole bunch that way. Zap, zap, zap. All right, let's get that guy out of here. You zap. All right. Also, no, he zapped in the middle. I mean, it makes sense, but... Okay, so he's going to stop in the middle of that. Oh, come on! Oh, jeez. This is going to be the room where we end up losing. Yep. I was down! I was down! Oh, I gotta get there. I know there's gonna be something there. Zap. Zap, jump. No! Oh. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna skip this for right now. <laughs> I mean, I know I've got the things that I need to... Hit that up more. Okay, there's... Oh, there's some really low rooms here. Oh, look, it's a nice uh, seat seating room here. Shoot! All right. How much time do we have left? Not much. Okay, so we can't afford to die. I fucked that up. See ya. <laughs> no point in even trying that room now. Are you just zap when you see me? One, two. Are you just gonna keep zapping that way now? Good. Zap. Zap. All right, not so bad, not so bad. Oh, this guy's just a... S oh, come on! That was a jump right over! Ah, front one like I hit him. Oh, the roof! The roof is in the way! Well, that's what happens when you lose the game. I didn't even get a single puzzle piece. Same as always. But we discovered 19 puzzle pieces... We found six passwords, so we get uh, 1,900 points. We solved zero puzzles. They're worth 500 points each. Our mission has been per, uh, terminated. You can see I almost did as good as ass here, the worst ass of them all. Um, there's my little test run where I was not ass, but we'll put in Zerf here. So this has been Impossible Mission. Uh, if you're up to the challenge, it's a little too impossible for me, but it is doable. Give it a try. It's a pretty good game. I think it holds up actually the test of time. It's still hard to play. It's not too easy, but the controls are pretty good. Um, sometimes you think it's BS when you die. Sometimes you think it's BS and it's not BS, uh, as you probably witnessed several times during this uh, run. Sometimes you run against a wall and it kicks your foot out and gets you killed. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching. I hope to catch you again on another C64 Sunday.